This is part 2 connecting Monocaster E2 to Focusrite with Ableton Live DAW for streaming setup. Streaming platform we will be using is TikTok Streaming. If you had watched part 1 for recording setup, please hover or move forward to timestamp 750. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the things cables I will be needing in the setup. First of all, this is the uh, Monocaster E2. This is the uh, Focusrite 2i2 3rd gen. And this is the laptop where I will be opening the Ableton Live video. And also same laptop we will use for the source of our background music like karaoke song from YouTube. And this one here, this is a condenser microphone also from the uh, Maono. And uh, if you have dynamic microphone, it doesn't matter. That works as well. And this device here, this will be the device we will be using for uh, recording as well as streaming. Maybe we'll use a live streaming sample using a TikTok. And for the cables here, this is just a TS Dual Mono to a TRS a Jack 3.5. And this one here is just the XLR cable for the microphone, uh, male to female. And uh, an earphone to use for audio monitoring. And this is TRRS 3.5 millimeter jack. This came when you get uh, the monocaster. And this adapter here, this is just uh, the uh, lightning adapter to 3.5 uh, millimeter uh, female. I got this from the Apple store. So I always have to reiterate this one that if you're not using the right adapter, you can only hear the effects from your setup as if everything is working. However, when you listen to your recording or if you are doing your streaming, there's no effects. So if that's the case, remember, it could be the adapter issue. And also make sure your output volume knob here is on high. Otherwise, when you listen to your recordings, there is no audio, it's only video. And that could happen also in your streaming. If the output volume knob is uh, low, then there is no audio on your streaming. They can only see you like as, as a video, but no audio. And now let's start the connections. First, what we will do is we will connect this uh, Focusrite to the uh, computer. This uh, cable came when you get a Focusrite USB-C to A. So there is only one port here for USB-C. And then you connect the other end to the USB-A port of your laptop. So in this case, it's just on this side. There it is. And now let's connect this microphone to here. And for that, we'll use this uh, XLR male to a female cable. So we'll just... Uh, We'll just use a mic one right there. Okay. And now we'll connect this one to here. Very uh, self-explanatory. And now let's connect this uh, cable TS Dual Mono to uh, 3.5 millimeter TRS. From here, what we will do is we will connect the TS Dual Mono to the back of this focus right. Okay, so that's left and this is right. Okay, and now the other end we will connect to this Monocaster E2. So from here, you will connect it to here, to the one that says Mic 2. And now from here, what we will do is we will connect this monocaster to this device, which we will be uh, using for streaming or recording. And for that, we will use this uh, TRRS 3.5 millimeter jack. Make sure to use the one that has uh, three lines. Otherwise, it will not work for recording if you're using the TRS, the one that has two lines. So from the back here, you have two live output, one and two. You just pick one. Maybe I'll use uh, output two. Make sure it's properly plugged in. And now the other end, I will connect first uh, to this uh, adapter, lightning adapter. And finally, I will connect to this phone. Again, make sure you're using the right adapter, otherwise it will not work for recording or streaming. And finally, let's connect an earphone to monitor the audio, or if you have a headphone, you can do that as well. So from here, we will not be connecting the earphone from the Focusrite. Instead, we will be connecting the earphone or headphone through here, uh, the Monocaster E2. So just pick one from here, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's uh, pick this one here. Okay, okay, so let's do uh, recording a sample first. So from here, I simply open the uh, a camera, built-in camera of this uh, iPhone for reference. This is iPhone 12 uh, Pro Max. Okay, so before we start the recording, maybe I'm just gonna show you quickly over here. 
So from here, your mic volume, you can control the mic volume, of course, from here. It's up to you if you want to turn on the air, if you have the third gen. If you don't, then it doesn't matter as long as it's connected to here and then just locate the mic volume. Uh, your mic can be controlled from here, also from here, because this is your output volume from your microphone. Now for the source uh, or the background music, let's say karaoke song from YouTube, your volume control for that is from here. So this does not affect the music coming from here. Instead, you have to control the volume from this laptop itself. I'll show you that in a bit. And this one here, mic number two, this is going to be your master volume control for both the, the microphone, so this microphone on here, and the uh, background music you're playing from this laptop. Okay, and as I said, make sure output volume knob is on high. Otherwise, if this is at zero, there won't be no audio over there being recorded, only video. So again, I'm going to be setting this one to at least uh, too high. And maybe before I start the recording, I'm going to uh, go to option first. As you notice, I've already opened Ableton Live from here. Go to options and then go to preference. Okay, so as you notice, uh, it's not yet, nothing is over here. So what you'll do is go to audio and pick, select ASIO because this is Focusrite and then audio device, open it and select Focusrite USB ASIO. And you should see uh, this thing is here. And then X out from there. So from here, we'll just be using the audio tracks. If you still have the MIDI uh, tracks there, you can just delete them. Okay, maybe let's just remove that. So as you can see, we'll only be using one audio track because in this setup, uh, what we want really is we will only be using the effects, vocal eff effects from the Ableton Live, and then to come to this monocaster. And then it's up to you if you want to combine or mix the effects, vocal effects from the Ableton Live, plus the reverb uh, effects uh, from this monocaster. And you can also uh, use this uh, equalizers up there. Okay, and now make sure you armed it, uh, the dot right there, make sure to tap it to make it red, something like that. So over here, uh, just uh, make sure to click also auto. There it is. Okay, and now over here, uh, make sure to turn on the 48 volt phantom power because as I said, this is a condenser microphone. Otherwise, if this is off, uh, this will not work. So that's why I turn it on. And monitoring, I had to uh, turn on the audio monitoring. And now let's start live streaming on TikTok. Okay, sound check testing one, two, one, two, three, four. There you go. I am now currently on live on a TikTok. So again, the audio that you are currently listening to, this is now the audio coming from the live streaming on a TikTok. Again, in the setup right now, same as earlier when I do a recording, I am currently connecting the Moano Caster E2 to the Focusrite connected to this DAW, which is Ableton Live on this laptop. So again, uh, from here, uh, same as earlier, control for your uh, for your microphone is going to be uh, from this knob on here, monitor from the Focusrite, and the background music from this same laptop to adjust the volume of that is from this laptop. It does not affect the monitor volume from the Focusrite. And the master volume for both the microphone, so this microphone plus the background music from this laptop is going to be from here, from the mic number two. If you are curious, again, why I did not connect it to the mic number one, I have tried and the audio output I did not really like. So this is the best setup that uh, for me is good to connect it through the uh, mic number two. Okay, so from here, uh, as you notice, there is no effects yet uh, for my vocals. That is because I have not added effects. So here I set zero on here. Maybe I'm gonna remove or delete this one uh, first. Okay, so from here, the there's no effects. There's no effects on here from this Monocaster E2. Same with the the Ableton Live, there is no effect. So that's why my vocals is flat. Okay, so what I'll do first is a simple uh, settings. I'm going to increase the first INF right there. Okay, just keep pressing it until you notice effects. Okay, sound check. Testing one, two. There you go. So sound check, testing one, two. And now if you add the next INF right there, if you top arrow up again, it will add delay to your vocals. Sound check. Maybe I'll set, maybe I'll set to 30. 
Okay, negative 13 on the first one, the second one is negative 30. And this should be your audio output sound, check. Testing one, two. Let's do a quick sample. Maybe let's use the same uh, song. Okay, maybe let's use this one. Maybe let's listen first how loud is uh, the uh, music. As I said, you can control the volume of your music from the laptop. Okay, I think that should be good. Okay, let's uh, pause it from there first. Okay, um, let's do a quick uh, sample from here. So again, simple setting, simply increase the, the two INFs uh, there on your track, audio track. If it's MIDI, it's not going to work. So make sure to select audio tracks. Okay, so let's do a quick sample from here. Tell myself you don't mean a thing And what we got, got no hold on me But when you're not there I just crumbled Okay, let me pause it from there So this time what I will do is Maybe I'll set first this two INFs to default So top again INF and set it to INF Okay, and same with the other one so that your vocals uh, will be flat without any effects. There it is. Okay, so same as earlier, what I will do is I will go to audio effects and then a reverb and maybe I'll use a concert uh, hall this time. I believe earlier on recording we selected ballad reverb. Now let's select a concert hall. Okay, so Okay, decrease the dry wet, there it is. So decrease it as you like. Maybe let's set uh, 250, um, let's say 48%. There you go. So let's uh, try this kind of setup. So again, I did not do much. I simply selected audio effects and in concert hall and I lowered the dry wet to 48%. Let's do a quick uh, sample from here. I tell myself I don't care that much But I feel like I die till I feel your touch Only love, only love can hurt like this Only love can hurt like this Must have been a deadly kiss Okay, let me pause it from there so from here, what I will do is maybe I'm going to lower my dry wet. Okay, so I lowered the dry wet to, let's say, 35%. So again, in this case, that should be your audio output. And from here, if you want to add effects from the monocaster light, let's say the reverb, actually, as I mentioned earlier, you can increase or you can set your equalizers from here. Let's say, for example, I'm going to lower my treble. Okay, there it is. So I lowered my tre treble, then it sounds like that. And if you want to increase your bass, then increase your bass. There you go. Sam, check. Testing one, two. And not only that, if you want to add uh, reverb effects from here, let's say depth and uh, decay time, let's say I'm going to increase now my depth from this uh, Monocaster uh, E2, there you go, sound, check, testing one, two, and also if you want to add decay time, of course, that is also possible, there you go, sound, check, testing one, two, so in this setup right now, I am combining the effects from this Ableton Live DAW plus the effects from this uh, Monocaster Monocaster E2. Let's do another quick uh, sample from here. Only love can hurt like this. So I wouldn't care if you walked away. But every time you're there, I'm begging you to stay. And when you come close, I just tremble. And every time, every time you go. Okay, there it is. So again, in this setup right now, as I said, I added effects from the monocaster light plus the effects from this Ableton Live. Okay, I'm going to lower all the effects first, set them to zero. And also on here, there it is. 
Okay, from here, if you are curious, if you are able to use the voice changer from this Monocaster E2 in this kind of setup, of course, you can use that as well. Okay, so it's right here. If I'm going to press this one to the left or right, it should change. Uh, thank you. It should change your uh, voice. Okay, there. there you go. As you notice, it did change your voice. So it does work also to change uh, your voice or voice changer in this kind of setup. I'm going to turn it to the other side. There you go. Same thing. It does the same thing. Uh, you are able to use the voice changer in this uh, kind of uh, setup. There you go. So I hope uh, this video will give you now an idea how to connect your monocaster light to your focus right connected uh, to a, a DAW again Ableton Live uh, DAW from this laptop and at the same time you don't need an extra device to open the source your uh, background music let's say karaoke song you can simply open uh, a browser from this same laptop where you're opening your your DAW and there you go so as you notice it does work the audio the this microphone as well as your background music it it all uh, feed into your live streaming. And if you're curious, if you want to, let's say you want to do a Facebook streaming or YouTube streaming, the audio output will be the same as well as the setting or setup should be the same thing. But anyway, that is all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, so for watching. And for those of you who are watching on TikTok, thank you very much. And also uh, for those of you uh, on my uh, YouTube followers, if you want to follow me also, on my TikTok account. My account is at jnodes1. And before I end this video, again, I want to thank to Mono for sending me this uh, set, uh, this uh, Mono condenser microphone plus this uh, Monocaster E2 and for me to be able to make all this kind of different uh, setup. If you would like to get one of this, maybe the console or this microphone, they come also in a bundle. I will be adding a link under the description below. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos consider subscribing if you haven't done yet and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos i will be posting keep safe and until next time